It's like, oh yeah. shit. Why do you always say that? Like, bro, that doesn't sound fucking cool. I'm sorry, but it's just novels. Yeah, but this entire this entire one episode is just to show Wilson Fisk is not to what be fucked like. with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I'm fucking. I tell you, I tell you what's really good is that um they make. Daredevil, like they make Daredevil human when it comes to like even the fighting. Because um, it's like every fight he's in, when he's up against more than a multiple of people, um, by weapon. the end of it, he is yes. fucking tired. Like mm. there's certain there's certain fights. There's, there's one there's one fight uh, in a hallway where he fights like eight or ten guys. Yep. And he literally like halfway through the fight, he's just like you can see he's like lean up against him, trying to get exhausted. Yeah. And then these guys are like trying to him, so he's after like he's like <sighs> Alright, it's like get himself back up, keep fighting. It's like it's like fucking hell dude, like you're just you're going yeah. the extra mile. Um, nuts. <laughs> it's it's really clever how they've implemented it all while it's still set in the MCU. Because um, yep. Like you know, it's still in the MCU as such. So, just, so it's really cool because the gangs, the gangs are like, look, while the big head, the big top, like Avengers and that, are handling all the big stuff, we can, we can like control the underground, the lower, less, less known, maybe area. less important, yeah, less, but like equally as bad. Exactly, area. exactly, yeah. And it's like that's actually really clever because I always feel like mafia stuff is cooler anyway than oh my god, we're gonna save the world. It's that's just one of it. It's it's just clever that it's still it's in it's in a it's in a universe where that also happens as well. Like you know, while these Avengers are, I find that really weird. It, it's it's just it's so interesting though because it's like this technically yeah this would happen because then you got all these superheroes tackling like aliens and end of the world creatures. What are the gangs doing under you know underground? Like what are they doing? Yeah, like they don't just disappear kind of thing. Yeah, so that's why that's why Daredevil comes in. He's a grounded hero. He takes on the uh... a bit more like a Deadpool almost. Yeah. But to be fair, Deadpool. Deadpool, you mean you know Deadpool's OP and has obviously all that backstory and stuff. But like <laughs> he um he also still deals with gangsters, not like end of the world sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward because I got I gotta watch that. Jessica Jones. Iron mm -hmm. Fist, uh, Luke mm -hmm. Cage, and I go watch the Defenders. Oh yeah, Luke Cage meant to be really good. Mm. Then I go watch the Defenders. Then I gotta watch Daredevil season two, which is I'm yeah. very I'm looking forward to that one. Kill the Zombie if you want, brother. It's the uh, it's the Terminator one. Oh, I'll come help you. I'm looking forward to yeah. Daredevil season two because that introduces the Punisher. Oh, I love the Punisher. And apparently, uh, he's really fun. Is he a good. villain or a good guy? Um. I think in the second. I'm assuming he's probably a bit of an anti-hero. He's, he's actually a villain because in the in season two, um, he's uh, he's on trial, for killing. Yeah, it makes sense. And uh, Frank, Frank Castle. Because well, the thing is that. Um, what is he doing? Again, because uh, Daredevil, um, his alter ego, Matthew Murdock, he's a uh, attorney. He, um, yeah. Uh, and he's an attorney for uh, for the Punisher. And. Yep. You know, I think there's a scene that I've seen where John is like, "Did you kill his people?" He went, "Yeah, I killed his people." And he went, and he's like, "I don't give a damn if you think that I'm a bad person." Well, the Punisher says that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "I killed his people." And I seem very Punisherist. No, no. But then he goes, "I killed his people," and I liked it. And he goes, "Hell, I loved it." And everyone's like, "Oh my god!" And Matthew Murdock is like, well, "We, we can't. What do we, what do we do? <laughs> we can't. We can't defend this." He's literally admitted to killing all these people. And. Um, and then he gets wrapped well, up. That's the point. He punishes people for things that he thinks worth punishing for. Well, yeah, there's a there's a great scene where Daredevil and him fight, and they have like a mm -hmm. chat. And Daredevil's like, "Why do you kill people?" And he goes, "Because they're, because he's like, I do what you can't do, which is take out all the, you know, take out the trash, take out the garbage, you know, take out the ones yeah, that, that don't." Yeah, that is really punishment. Yeah, and Daredevil's like, "But he's like, that's that's not that's not how we do it." And he went, he went, all you're doing, all you're doing is hurting the people. They're gonna go back into the street, and then. Literally do exactly what I do now. Do the same thing. It's like at least when I at least when I put them in the ground, they stay in the ground. Um, and it's, it's really interesting because you've got Daredevil over here. It's like you got to give them a chance, and punishers are like. There's ah. a floating zombie. What? He's literally floating, like off the ground. I'll show you in a bit. I'll try and leave him alive so you can see. Right. He can't, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He's literally just hovering. <laughs> <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh, is he still there? Oh no, he's moved. He was like hovering off the ground. Oh, he oh. obviously got out of the glitch spot. What? Oh, and he got caught. Fine. 
Yeah. That's why um, I'd recommend keeping an Apex and Shroud on the Alright. Literally just save it for them. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come um, on. When you upgrade an Apex Shroud as well, I don't know if you've already got it, but um, you can get an upgrade for it where as soon as you use it, it reloads your gun entirely. That's pretty cool. It's really useful. I have like no ammo, so if you can get a max ammo, that'd be great. Oh shit. Oh. Almost caught. Wait, what's that? <gasps> oh, double points. Same. Oh, need ammo. It's like there's so little ammo around in this area. Doesn't have it now, I can't fucking pick any up. Well, yeah, also. I mean, to be fair, even if you're good, I can't find any anywhere. I mean, I can do that. That shows you how dire the ammo situation is. Well, I'm staying near a box. Oh, sure. What are you gonna say? Oh, fucking, I've got two Terminators, a Mimic, and a fuckload of cutlery. Oh, you're not having a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the situation? Two dinner ladies and a fuckload of cutlery. <laughs> I was, I, was so, I was so mad last night, last this thing. I was so mad last night. Why? Because, um, because my fucking, because my dad, right, because we agreed that we were one movie a day, you know, he picks one, I pick one, he picks one, I pick one. And he picked, um, uh, what was it? He picked, uh, the Rush Hour trilogy, and I yeah. picked, uh, Zodiac. And, of course, like, you know, as, as I've said, they didn't really like uh, Zodiac, um, because they found... It's not bad, it's yeah. just slow. Yeah, and I said, well, tonight, let's watch, uh, The Prestige. Does everyone watch, watch what? The Prestige. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And, of course, they're like, well, you know, you said that about Zodiac, and that out. I'm like, I've heard... Look, I mean, I've... it's not as if you can predict what a movie's going to be like. Exactly, anyway. exactly, yeah. So I'm like, look... You picked this movie we didn't like. Clearly, this is your fault for a movie we've <laughs> also never seen. Yeah. Like, um, but then, but then it's like, because they have, because there's a the thing though, is that they have like, they have a go at me when I pick a film I don't like, and they, and they can't say it's bad. And then, but then I'll turn around and go, well, I don't really like it. And they're just like, yeah, that's your opinion. And I went, okay. But then we watched, um, then, so then last time I'm like, let's watch The Prestige. And I watched The Prestige on, and within the first like two minutes, my dad's just gone, oh, we've seen this. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I haven't. He went, okay, well, we have, so you can watch it on your own. We'll watch something else. I'm like, right, okay, but this kind of kills the point of it. Yeah, it's like, this is movie night, so, you know, we have to watch something together. And that's when they, of course, they put the fucking, the, uh, um, yeah, film. yeah, it's and I'm not part of its um thingy. I know what you mean. Though. Yeah, yeah. I thought I have to go fucking name. It's because it's terrible. His, the, the thing is, though, right? Is that what made me fucking? What made me look, like just tilt my head? Like what? It's the fact that we spent the entire film literally ripping it apart. Like every couple of minutes, we're just like, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. This is stupid. What are they fucking doing? Like, you know, we just kept doing that every couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it got up right to the very fucking end, and they do the fucking, they do the shit twist, like, do, do you care? Do you care about spoilers? No, I don't give a shit, I don't even remember the name of the film. Oh, it's basically the entire film is, is that these two, this couple go on a camp trip. Um, right. uh, with their daughter, and then the daughter uh, gets, uh, goes missing, disappears, we don't know what the hell happened. Um, seems a lot like a game I have that's similar. So, the entire film is them trying to figure out who stole, who stole their kid, what's going on. Now at first, at first, um, you know, the uh, the police is like, you know, we'll, we'll look for the kid. We're searching the forests. Now, what they mean by search the forests the is that they'll search, like thermal. they'll search, they'll search like one side of the forest, but they'll leave the other side completely empty. You can't go wrong with these. So, the final fact is like police it's everywhere. There's police all over the damn place. They're just like, we'll sneak out, and uh, we'll search like the area of the forest that the police aren't searching. And they're like, okay, and then despite the fact that you see that there's me. police everywhere, they somehow just yep. they somehow just get out and they just search the forest. And literally within like two minutes of entering the forest, they find a guy sitting next to a campfire. Um, Maybe he's suspicious. You should probably search him. Well, no, no. So they so they see him. And they're, like, and they're thinking, well, that's a bit suspicious. Let's go and uh, oh my god, you have a lot of enemies. I came to help. <laughs> I thought you needed some help. I have five bullets left, by the way, so as soon as you kill one of these guys, I'm making the ammo. <laughs> Hang on, I got some decoys. Let me go over this. There you go. I should give you a few seconds to All right. 
I'm gonna combat bow it because I grabbed the combat bow. Do I look tired? No. Um, yeah, so, 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 they, so they found this guy in the forest. And they're like, oh, like, like, oh my god, there's you know, a guy in the forest, you know, just outside. It's Jason Bourne. Just outside the camping area. That sounds very suspicious. So then and they realise, and they find out that he has a gun right next to him, right? Oh no, he seems like a totally upstanding citizen. No, so, so the wife is like, we should grab the gun. So the wife sneaks over to him. And goes to grab the gun, but what she does is that she literally steps over him and leans down and grab the gun when you literally just could walk around him because he's at a campfire. So this is already stupid on itself. And then to make matters worse, she grabs the gun, and she points the gun at a guy, and then the guy of course wakes up and she shoots him. Yeah, exactly. So she's killed him. Um why? But then she fires the she fires the gun. The guy's dead, and you see he, he Where cuts. Are he gone? Oh, I'm running around. Oh yeah, that. Okay, it's fine. He cuts the police, and they're like, "Did you hear that? Did you hear gunshot? Go over and check." So they literally the entire police force is literally just ran over the check. Uh, but of course, they get back to their caravan before you know, they get caught. Oh shit! Let go. Keep going, dude. Um. And they're just like, okay, so we found a cap uh, found a found the uh, found body in the forest. Um, it was uh, it was one of the uh, survivalist makes basically come out here every year uh, to survive out in the wild for a couple of days. So it's a bit like I know what you did last summer, sort of with his stupid old parents. No 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 nothing like that. Literally the guy that they killed, uh, he was just literally every year him and his mates go out to the wild to see how long they can survive. Well he clearly didn't win that year. No, he didn't win that year, no. So li yeah, literally he, he just died for nothing. Um, so now they're trying to fix so now they have to find where the dude is while they just killed a dude for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Now the wife starts getting suspicious and she thinks that it's the next door neighbours. Because they really want because they really want kids. Um Boy, I'm glad they didn't kill an innocent person before they come to that city. Exactly, so then she's like, look, they really want kids. So maybe they've taken so they clearly, they must have taken, you know, our, our one because they can't have kids. So they've taken our kids. Uh, yeah. And it's like, okay, that's, that's safe to assume. And on top of that, you know, we see that... the worst idea, but it's yeah. a bit stupid. And on top of that, we'll see the husband and the wife acting very sus. Like, you know, they've acted a bit weird. Blue is sus. Yeah. So we've, so, you know, it's, it's, it's clearly like, okay, that makes sense. So they, you know, while they're going off searching the forest Where's to find the, the daughter... Yeah. Uh... Go that way. Okay. Yeah, um, no, 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 no. Oh shit, really. So while they're going off to find a daughter, they've searched, that's not it, uh, the couple will search in the fucking, uh, the RV. And, yeah. uh, they search, they search the RV, um, and they find, um, Brilliant, Teddy. Um, um, Dad is trying to feel around, and you can see that there's, um, the necklace that the daughter had is in one of the cupboards. Yeah. Why do they always wear necklaces? I don't know, but the daughter's necklace is in the cupboard, and it's like, oh, and they don't find it, but we see it, so we're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those where it's like, um, they don't quite find Personal it, but they do that shot where you just about see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, so, so now it's like, okay, so we know that they have the girl's necklace, but they don't. So we know that they know, but they don't know that we know. So yeah. Fuck it. No one has any better ideas. So we might as well keep doing <laughs> Exactly. Um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much happened. And then again, the couple, the other couple, come back and it's just like, oh yeah, you know, I was, you know, wife wasn't feeling too well, so we sort of came back a little bit early. And hey, before anything else, what happened to those raid horde things that we had to do? We raid horde things. Remember, we had to like defend an area. Where did that? Where did that go? I don't know. Maybe we did it. All. Maybe. Hey, okay. Um, so that you're not feeling too well, and they go, hey look, uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow morning, he's alright if you, if, you, if you can like sort of go down to the, um, go down to the shore, uh, go, go along the lake, see if you can find anything, you know, just that little search rack, you can't obviously, you can't leave the area, and they're like, yeah sure, you know, we can do that, no problem, we'll start at like 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm like, okay. So, they off, they off go to bed, and Is this though, like a thriller then? It, it's, it's a mystery, it's a, uh, it's a, it's, you know, it's kind of a thriller, yeah. So the 
That night, the dad's gone off to like, you know, grab some coffee. And he looks out the window and he sees that the next door next door is like having sex and he's like he's watching and he's watching it and he's like, ooh, he's like, oh alright. And so he starts he starts getting kinky with his wife and I'm and literally I'm sitting there going, This is the Yeah, and this is this is like this But he thing. thinks they stole her kit their kit. Yeah. And he's like, No, they're having kinky butt sex, so yeah. as well keep watching. Yeah, That's and, on weird. and on top of that, this is day two oh, of I found them, another floating zombie. This is day two of them losing their daughter. You don't, you don't. They clearly didn't care that badly. Yeah, you don't get horny on the second day of your daughter missing. <laughs> I no longer want to be horny. I so, just be happy. Yeah. so, uh, so, his, so the family, so you know, you know, they meet each other at seven o'clock. The again, the what, the um, the missus is like, oh, you know, yeah, I'll help find your daughter and all that. But then her her husband is acting really suspicious. Like he's just like, he's like, yeah, okay, I'll help you, yeah, sure, whatever. Louis acting sus. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, okay, this is weird. Um, mm -hmm. And then, so they get on the boat, and then, you know, it's like, I'm on a boat. we get like 30 seconds of montage, and it's like, we've been out here for six hours, our fuel's gonna go out. It's like, right, okay. How quiet. Um, and then, as they're about to go in, the uh, the mother Almost is like, what's that? There's a bag over there, there's a bag over there. And the boy. <laughs> The husband of uh, the, the next doors, uh, next door neighbours is just like it's just a bag. Like don't. don't, 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 don't. It's like well, can we at least check? Now? Wait, where check? is this outdoors? Yeah, this is like at the uh, lake the area. Oh, okay, right. This is a uh, camping area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there, so they're like so the the uh, next door husband is like, not just a bag. It's nothing. It's just a bag. Like you know, let's check. See if there's anything in it. So they grab the bag. Yeah. I mean that's pretty sus in itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next door neighbour, next door neighbour, grabs the bag, chucks the phone. You see, nothing in it. It's like you didn't even. It's just like the, 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 uh, <laughs> nothing the in mother, it doesn't even open it. Yeah, the mother's like you didn't even check. Like he didn't even want to come under here. So why you're acting suspicious? And it's like are you accusing me of stealing your daughter? And the mother Maybe just goes, the mother literally says, yeah. I think he did steal my daughter. He's like, Fair what enough. sort of bullshit is that? And then, of course, the next door, the, next, the wife is like, oh, oh, you know, that they, you know, they've lost their child. They're acting, you know, of course they can act yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. Don't take it too personally. And he's like, it's like, mm, it's like nah, this is this is bullshit. Like, fuck you for doing this. And while yeah. he's doing that, the dad has unplugged the fucking motor on the boat. Why? Yeah, like, I was like, why? So he's unplugged it. But here's the thing, he didn't, he didn't like hide or anything. He literally just took the wire out and just dropped it onto the bottom of the boat. So, so the fucking, the husband's like, hard. Oh, like, wrap fuel. It's like, it's literally looking right below you. You'll fucking see that the plug to charge up. Like it wasn't even stealthy. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even hide or anything. And so the mother opens the bag and there's a fucking gun inside. Why? Exactly, I don't know why. There's a gun inside, oh. and she's like, you're gonna tell me what my fucking daughter is right now, you're gonna tell me what my daughter is, and they're like, are you fucking crazy? We did not take, we did not steal your daughter. She's like, I know you steal my daughter, you fucking go. bastard, you stole my daughter. Can't live next to them after this. Yeah, Decoy so then, the fucking... <laughs> so, the husband, the husband whacks the mother over the head with the fucking paddle. But right. in doing so, he hits her, she fires the gun, kills the wife, they topside to the people, and the fucking partner stabs the husband. Why? Exactly, it's like, what is happening? Like, what the fuck? It's like they just threw action in there for the sake of Exactly. So then, and hang on, they still haven't found who killed the kid then. Exactly, yeah, they still know what it is. So now they've just they, attacked these people for whatever reason. Yeah. Then of course the cops they find out about it, they find the body in the lake, and they're just like, what the fuck's going on? Wait, so the mother died? No, no, no the mother's alive. Uh, it's the, what, the neighbor's wife and husband dead. Oh. Um, so they're just like, yeah, like nothing ever happened. But then of course the cops they find the bodies and they're just like, the um, 
the uh, next door neighbours are dead. You, you probably shouldn't have killed these people. Yeah, yeah. It's like the next door neighbours are dead. You know, they're uh, they're dead, and they're like, oh, who could do such a thing? Like, they're acting like you know they don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, what is going on here? Like, you know, uh, you know, do they actually care for their daughter, or whatever? And then, so, you know, the game it goes on, and he. And literally, it's like day. Oh, no, yeah. the That's right. It's like it's like day three of their daughter sure. missing, right? Day three so, under the door. No, so it's day three, right? It's a good all And the, the officer, the sheriff, has actually just gone. You may want to go to grieving counselling because you know, just in case. Yeah, just tried to kill someone. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, it's like, no, no, it's not just that. It's just like you have to go to grieving counselling to you know, get over the loss of your daughter. It's like our daughter's not. But so we, we know she's dead, though. No, we don't know. We don't know. Oh, well, it's even more so it's, it's like, it's day three, you haven't even, like, one, yeah. it's, like, it's like, one, you haven't even, like, really tried, and two, you haven't even questioned anything. I like how the police went, yeah, you're, you're good, but there's no way we're finding out. No, but days. here's the even weird I give up. Here's the weird thing. The police haven't even questioned the other of the entire fucking camper, like, the, like, the, um, yeah, they have, the campsite. yeah, they have talked to him anyway. But, so, yeah, that's the first place you go, man. Exactly. So the uh, fucking what was it? Uh, the so the kid. So there's a kid who works there. He, you see, you see him for like a couple of scenes. And in one of the scenes, the uh, the owner comes over, and the, kid, the kid's like, "You didn't." Oh shit! It's like you didn't. You didn't oh. Can I get some help? If it comes to our tombstone, but yeah, I'll tombstone. Fuck it, I don't want to lose my yeah, yeah, uh, jug. I was gonna say match tombstone. Why is this pulling me 50 million miles away? Brilliant. Literally the worst location. On the plus side, I've still got quick revive. Get up. Fucking idiot. There. Um. So. Yeah. So then the kid, the kid's talking to the owner, and he's like, you know, did you? It's like, you know, what do we do? Because I, like, you know, I know your past and all that sort of stuff. But what do you, what do? You do? And he's like, you keep that, you keep it shut, you know, because I, you know, I gave you, you know, a wall, you know, I gave you a house, a roof over your head, food, you know. I hate that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a and stupid it, argument. And then, and then the kid goes, did you steal their daughter? And he slap, and the owner slaps him. And he's like, don't you ever ask so me that again. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so he clearly did. Um, it's like, okay, so it must be him then. Um, and then, of course, the film turns it over to where it's him now. Because the film is like really blunt with it, it's like, oh yeah, it's definitely him, it's 100% him, though. can't be anyone else. Um, and then you get to, you get to a bit where um, uh, the Miss um, Mother goes to like, you know, grab some food and uh, VHSs to watch a film for the night. Mm -hmm. And as she goes into the shop, you start hearing like a girl like, the screams of a little girl. Uh, that's just, like, just a good movie. No, no, she, she's just like, what the hell's that sound? And then the guy comes out, locks the door like quickly. He's like, are you okay? Everything all right? And she's like, well, what's going on? It's like, oh, there's just, you know, it's just a film. And she just goes, okay, well, you know, I want to be interested in the bar. And she just sort of walks off. It's like, does that not seem that's, like. Don't tell me that's the end. No, no, no. no. No, later on, that yeah. would have been terrible if that was the end. No, then so that's the next day. And so she's like, I'll go return the VHS. The and then she goes, I've got to return some videotapes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and then she realizes that maybe there's something more to it. So she goes, so she doesn't ring the bell to get the guy in. She instead opens the door slowly, has a look inside the check, and she finds that there's a, uh, a hidden. A hidden room behind this, behind this wall, thing. and it's like, all right, the plot. Why thick. wouldn't there be? It's like, all right, the plot thickens. You open up the wardrobe, and there's a soundproof room, and there's just like got VHS all over the floor, all over like on the cabinets and that. It's like, what the? F <laughs> These must be the good ones. It was just like, what the fuck is going on? And then you find out. Uh, um, he records himself. No, oh, he record. He's a pedophile. He records himself having sex with kids. That child is gonna traumatize. Yeah. So it's like shit. Like he's. And, but there's no. There's no kid in there. So it's like shit. He must have, you know, raped her and taken her. Like fucking killed her or something. 
put it in. So the mum, so the mum's like, so the mum puts the fucking VHS in, sees the end, like literally, sees the box up, and he's literally on a bed with a with a little girl. Yeah, that uh, should be instant. Like, right, take the VHS, go to the place. But no, she sits there watching it. Like, no, she, yeah, she's like, like she, she's like watching it. Like, oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. This is so horrible. I'm so upset seeing my daughter being diddled. I'm gonna sit here and watch more. Well, no, it's, it's not. It's not her daughter. It's one else. But it's oh, like, okay. yeah, yeah. And so, and then she gets hit, hit in the back of the head by the bat because the guy comes in at the right time. Uh, ties yeah. her, ties her, you know, why wouldn't they? Yeah, ties her up. And while she's knocked out, he's grabbing all the game chesses, and he's like, I gotta dump these, I gotta hide all the evidence. Um, while that's happening, she wakes up just in time, kicks over a table, gets a screwdriver, and starts cutting herself free. And then she has this, she has, she has like a little fight with him. And just, just before he's about to pretty much kill her, uh, she gets the upper hand and hits him over the head, hits him over the head with a hammer. Because, you know, that's how that would go. Yeah, and uh, she hits him over the head with a hammer, kills him. It's like, well, well done, he just killed your only lead to where your daughter is. Well, no, because you have literal videos of him in his place. No, no, you have, you have videos, yeah, but you don't, still don't have where your daughter is. Well, yeah, fuck on. So, she's, she's killed him, and the police call up, and they're just like, be fine. We gave up with your kid, did you go to therapy? <laughs> no, I killed the guy instead, oh. That's what the, the cops... Cops show up, and it, it turns out that he was part of an underground paedophile ring. But their daughter was not, was not on any of the videos. So while he was, you know, part so she just killed two people, and neither of which are. Yeah, yeah. She's going well. So she, so what, well, he was a bad person, so part of paedophile ring. I don't have any judge. Um, he wasn't. He wasn't the one who stole. He wasn't the one who stole. Uh, stole the daughter. Yeah. So the daughter is still out there. Right. And then, so after all that, they're just like, yeah, she's gone now, we ain't gonna find her. And it's like day five. Fuck them kids. But it's like day five, it's like, yeah, she's gone now. Mm. And it's like, you, you haven't even tried, to be honest. No, they really haven't. So, you know, day five's passed. Uh, um, and they're like, you know, we'll, we'll sleep up tonight and we'll leave in the morning. And then the fucking so the cop the cop comes home and there's like this really weird side story with him and his uh, wife. Right? How long is this film? It's like two hours. What the fuck? So the wife's like, I can't do this anymore. It turns out he lost his son. Right. And he re he clearly is doing such a good job to make sure no one else goes through that. Exactly. Yeah. So he's like, he's like, I know how. But I know. These medics have so much help. So she and so his wife's like, you know, I can't deal with being with you anymore because it's just this I can't handle it. So I'm leaving you. So he's like, uh, he's like Fair enough, I'd do the same. Yeah. He's so, a terrible cop. <laughs> so as he's reading this letter, he notices underneath it that there's a photo. These photos have been on the table for the past couple of days, right? And he was literally you see there's even a scene showing him literally looking at it the night before. But only now has he realised that one of the pictures is a picture of the uh, father and mother who, with the mother being nine months pregnant on, at 9-11. Yeah, so there's a picture of, of the mother and the father in front of the... Uh, How the fuck does 9-11 relate to this? Right, in front of the Twin Towers. Oh, God. She, is, she is nine months pregnant, so she's about to have a kid. Right, so the film. Really right, so the photo has been taking place around 2001. Right? Yeah. The film is set in 2018. So 17 years. But the daughter is only 10 years old. Wait, what? It turns out that the daughter drowned at a camping trip six years ago prior to the events of this film, and they've been. They've literally been. Um, Imagining her the entire time to cope. Oh my fucking god. So the entire film is basically one giant allegory of grief. Ah, oh, that's stupid. And they and the parents literally drive off into the sunset as they've got. That's so them, stupid. They, they murdered like three people. <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> 
Like what? If I murdered three people, I'd have been fucking put in prison. But these motherfuckers murdered three people, and they're like, oh, poor things, they're in grief. Wanna go over the death three You have an extra opportunity. Motherfucker, their daughter has been buried for like three years. <laughs> Fuck that daughter at this point. <laughs> no one likes that daughter anyway. And yeah, this this was the film that my that despite the fact that me and the entire family were shitting on the entire time, my dad and mum had my dad and stepmom had the balls to turn around to me and go, that was a good film. <laughs> <laughs> that was enjoyable. <laughs> I had fun. And then and then, to add further suit to the moon, they go, well, it's better than Zodiac, and I'm like, Zodiac was it? Zodiac was, like, was about 50 times better than that. I was like, Zodiac, That's stupid shit. I was like, Zodiac is a good film, it's just very long, and very You lot just have the attention span of yeah. a three-year-old, and, then, and then, the only difference. Yeah, and, and their response was, it's okay to have your opinion, and when there's not an opinion, it's a fucking fact, the <laughs> film is good. No, you you should just respond and be like, it's not okay to have yours, though. <laughs> No, literally, I, I was just like, I was like, no, it's not, it's not my opinion. The film's good. Like, that's not an opinion. Yeah. It's a fact. And they went, you can't. Yeah. And they were like, you can't factual an opinion. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna fucking bother what? you guys. You can't factual an opinion. <laughs> I oh. mean, considering the fact that it has like a really high rating on IMDb and Letterbox and everything else, you clearly can. <sighs> Pretty much, that was my dad's. Actually, finally watched that though. That's my dad's choice. <laughs> so tell me about what you thought about the Zodiac, because we haven't actually managed to talk about it. I, it. I don't think I will watch it again anytime soon. No, I don't think I will. Because, because it's, too, um, it's too like. It's it's very it's very long. It is extremely yeah. Long. Like it's not, it's, not, it's not something that's intense. It's just it's really drawn out. Like it takes place over like mm. thirty years or something. Yeah. Yeah, and it's Zodiac stuff. yeah, and it's just Extra like, windows closed. and it's also kind of like unfulfilling because you get to the end, and it's like, oh yeah, the mm. guy, you know, we still don't know who the guy is. We, kind of we don't know him. exactly who it is, but it seems like it's him. Yeah, but then of course he you know, gets a giant heart attack. clear murderer guy. It's like, oh, you got your heart attack before this fucking, before the cops came to fucking arrest him. It's like, ah, that's fucking, that's that's, yeah, so oh. yeah. So it's like, I don't, that's oh, enough. Come help. So yes, it's like you're getting way more zombies than I am. Oh. I found like three. See, so yeah, it's like yeah. oh fuck, that's a lot. Whoa, you have way more than I do. So yeah, I uh, I'm away, but I really fucking liked it. I just stuff I'll be watching it again in time soon. Yeah, no, we're still on mission. Okay. Oh fuck, not going that way again. Gonna go um. this way. What? Uh, and then, uh, but yeah, um, I think, I think out, out of, definitely out of the films of um, David Fincher that I've been watching recently, uh, fucking Seven was fucking seven, right. top big, top big shit. You should have got them to watch Seven, that would have been really good. Oh, they've already seen it. Oh, really? What yeah. did they think of? Oh, uh, they liked it. Um, Yes, I'll help you block each other. I've got no one else. I think oh. At the moment, out of the films I've seen from David Fincher uh, this year, I think it goes Seven, Fight Club, and then Zodiac. Oh, I didn't realize Fight Club was by him. Oh, yeah, Fight Club was from him. Um, yeah, oh no, there's a nuke. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I've got to cover you as much as I can. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. There you go. I was about to try and do the same thing. Oh. There we go. Alright, Oh shit, I forgot they don't die, dude. This is pretty much it for me, I've got no joke or anything. I mean, you could go buy them. Yeah, you could go buy it, dude. Anyway, can Um... Yeah, uh, so yeah, far... dogs! So far, I haven't really... It hasn't really been a David Fincher film, and I've hated it. Oh, fuck. No, I haven't. Um... No, I hate you. I think the ones... The, the, the two quite pissed me off, though, was, uh... On Twitter, um, people were getting really pissed off that the uh, trial of the Chicago Seven uh, got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got nominated uh, at the Golden Globes, but uh, um, the Five Blood didn't. And obviously, it's because you know it's all about race and being racist and shit. And um, 
Whoa, I don't. Whoa. But there's I... loads of films that do that well and some that don't. Are you, wait, are you talking about? Because I haven't seen either of those films. Which is the one about race and which is the one? Oh, wait. The Trial of Chicago 7 is a film about how uh, these like seven, I think it's like these seven groups um, all came into Chicago at one time in like the Civil War stuff um, to sort of like say like, you know, we don't want, we don't want our, you know, our people going to war for something that's meaningless. Yeah. And the entire situation was just that. So they decided to have a giant race war? Well, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't a giant race war. It was the fact that they were, kind of, they were pretty much um, protesting. By the way, I'd recommend using Tom Ward for the next one. They were pretty much protesting for their, uh, for, you know, the American people to not go to war. Right. And the entire situation was that um, um, if these seven people were convicted, um, they, I'll try and keep these guys on me. Uh, so you can get a little bit of freedom. The problem was that it's like Apparently. if some people are convicted of, um, you know, um, causing a crime against, you know, pretty much, um, well, what's it called when you're going up against your own country? Um, uh, treason. Treason, yeah. There's like, we can get it done for treason for like 25 years or whatever. Um, the entire film is then trying to, like, you know, figure out ways to get out of it, like, you know, find like loopholes. And it, it was really... And here's the thing, the film's a, it's a courtroom drama. Like, it's mostly yeah, yeah. in the courtroom. But the entire yeah. film is... I, well, I fucking love the film. At the moment, it's my, it's my favourite film of the year so far. Um, I need to watch her, it's on my list. And I fucking, I fucking love it because like, the writing and like, the, the characters in the film was just so fucking good. Um, and then it came to uh, The Five Blood. And I, I really, really liked it. I loved the film. It was great. There was just a few things that, you know, I was a bit iffy about. Like, for example, uh, they, were, they were making it, it was sort of made to be this, um, this film about how uh, you know, uh, uh, water veterans of the Vietnam War, um, you know, they're going back to Vietnam to get some gold. Yeah, it's got Adam, Adam Sandler, right? And it's got like, loads of other really big names. That's what Adam Sandler. That's it, man. What am I thinking of? You thinking of Uncut Gems? No, it's another one where it's like seven people. Oh, um, but um, no, I really. Like I added it to my Netflix list recently. I'll think of it as well. I really like the film. Just my problem with it was that um, was that there was a few scenes at the start that made no sense. Um, that was yeah. sort of I was like, you like, okay, that um, that's questionable. And then the last act was pretty much sort of like a war film. Um, and again, I didn't mind it, but I'm sitting there thinking, I'm looking at. War veterans who went to war at like the age of 20 or something. They're like late 60s, early 70s years old. And yeah, they're going up against like, you know, veteran Vietnam men. So it's like, it's, it's, very, it's very difficult to buy it. And people, and uh, now people make a big riot of it like, oh yeah, but, you know, Trial of Chicago 7 get nominated, but the, the Five Blood doesn't. And it's like, I, you know, it's nothing to do, you know, end of the day, it's got nothing to do, wow, fucking hell. What fucking hell? Tell me a zombie hit me with one hit. Oh, fuck, well, yeah, they're doing quite a lot of damage now. I think as you get further through, they do more damage. It's coming to you now. <sighs> but yeah, I was, I'm just like, this is not, I don't think this is, seriously, like... It's like, it's okay, but it's not, like, that good. But it's not just that, it's the fact that it's like, stop thinking of the fucking race war shit, just look at it as a fucking thing. Yeah. In terms of films, like the Chicago Seven, is better. Like it's just, just it's like. It's, oh, there we go. Doesn't matter. Like, it's like, right, we need to wipe those heavy. Like, it's like okay, um, you know, it's a film made by white people with majority of white people in it. Like, um, set during a time where you know. It's it is a problem. I I keep seeing people not pushing for equality but pushing for superiority. Yeah. And it's a bit like, what are you doing? Why? It's, it's like, like, how does that benefit anyone? It's like the fucking, yeah, it's like Black Panther. It's like, oh yeah, Black Panther, you know, set, changed everything. It's like, it, it's a terrible film. They did? No, it's, like, it's a terrible I, film. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I haven't seen it change anything. It's changed. Really? There's nothing changed. It's, it's... Genuine question, like, I, I, I haven't seen it. The problem is that people, like, you know, Black Panther came out, people like, oh, this is, you know, Black, black I'd say Avengers, the first one, changed more than anything else does. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't just that, it was like, wow, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but it's just. I mean, if it helps, you at least have ammo. If I do not have that. <laughs> yeah, they just. It's just. It, it, it just bugs me why you know, they don't look at the film as you know, the film quality. They just look at it as like, oh yeah, well, it has a bunch of black people in it, so. You know. I find that, I just I don't know why, but I just find that a detriment. I find that worse. Because you're not, you're not saying, oh yeah, this film is good and it has black people in it. You're just saying, it you're saying this film is good. It's kind of, because it's kind of a bit the same when people argue that, um, you know, you need to pick someone over the strength of. Yeah, like for a job, like you need, you need to pick someone because they're good at the job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, just. It's just like know, the whole thing. I just find a slippery slope. I don't want to get involved in it. You know it's what I mean? like. Um, oh, he died easily. Wow. It's just like. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. All right. Guess we're gonna try this. Well, this is it. This is our final stand. This is our final stand. It's gonna be rough. Uh, an upgrade station anyway. Probably do it, Keep it, keep it on you. Go grab the upgrade. I'm gonna find an, uh, an upgrade station so I can get my armor. Oh, fuck, where is one? I don't think there is one. Shit. Fuck my life. All right, fuck it. We'll just we'll just try it. Oh, I'll take that. I'll right. grab the other thing. Are you ready? Nope. Oh, by the way, uh, I, I camped here a little bit before. If you run along here, they can't really get you very easily, these little sandbags. Enemies, you don't get trapped by them, so either. Just just a piece of advice. What? You are having a fucking Why is there a boss fight? <laughs> Why? Why? Why is there boss music? Where is he? Um, Where is he? Oh, fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, this is this is it. We're, uh... we're done for. We're done for. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, hang on. I'm, I'm nuking him. Save me your bullets for a rainy day. Boom! This is today, rainy! Boom, this is not fast! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been really helpful? The Ray came! Oh shit, how many fucking dogs are there? Look, we need to protect this thing with our life, alright? Are you chopping up right here? Yes. Fair enough, to be honest. I'll protect the thing, you target him, okay? I need you to put all your fire into him. I'm doing it, Because I've got heavies on him, as it is. Fuck me, he's huge. He's literally fucking ginormous. Oh, wow. Wow. What? That, that's how much damage I did in my helicopter. Oh, God. Okay, hang on, you're gonna have to take the heavy guy down. First problem is the heavy. If he gets close to this thing, we're fucked. Where's he going? Towards oh, us. Oh shit. Sam? The heavy guys, they're chasing this. Right, hang on, keep him on you, keep him on you, keep him on you. Is that a fucking new thing? Oh, Ow. Oh shit. He's got friends. I've got artillery strike, Sam, we're losing the generator. Sam, we're losing the generator. I, I don't really care. Stop caring! That's our power! Where is he going? I put an airstrike on him. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, that's good damage. Airstrike seems to be the option. Look how much damage he's done. Good for you. Motherfucker, do you want him alive? Oh shit, he's stealing our power, Sam. Oh god, Mimic. I know, I've been trying to kill the Mimic the whole time. Oh shit, we're losing that guy right Got him. <sighs> How the fuck did we kill him? There's a green thing. Oh. An Aether Reactor is ready for recharge. Oh, we have to recharge the... Th oh, shit. We have to recharge this, then. Okay, so now we know what to do with him next time. You have to hit him with two airstrikes. Two airstrikes will do it. Sam, are you going to help me with this generator? How? We don't have Pack-a-Punch if we don't. 
I have literally no ammo. Yeah, you had the same idea that I did. I was gonna do that in a second. Oh my god, how are we fucking gonna do that? We're not. We're dead. This is it. Coming to you, buddy. I've got no ammo. <laughs> I have like none either. Just smack him up. Behind you. Damn, turn her out. Oh no. Fucking big ass enemy. What's that deal with it? Fucking monster. Check it on off. fucking wave 32. Ah. I mean, to be fair, it would have been better on wave, third, on wave um, 20. Would you want to fight him on wave 20? True. Decoy! This is gonna hurt. Get up. I'm gonna keep you alive, son. Fucking use a rifle. What the fuck's going on? Oh shit! <laughs> I just turned around and like 20 enemies. Where are all my double holes gone? This is not going well. Mama, help. <laughs> oh, it's so fucked. I like how we haven't had a max ammo for about 20 rounds, man. And when I say I like it, I mean it makes me want to cry. Remember I had the Ray K? Good times. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I keep fucking trying to get? I've been pushing. Oh shit, yeah, Juggernaut's off now. It's alright, I didn't have any fucking that perks to begin with. Yeah, but we also don't have backup punch activated. Because it shuts down if the generator's on. Hey, Corey, you know, wanna do a challenge? <laughs> no. Can't believe it. Fucking that big fucking. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it was the fact they went, hey, there's a graveyard. It's like three stories tall. I was like, where? Oh. Very dependable. <laughs> It was the fact that I saw there. it. It's the fact that I fucking saw it and I was like, Connor, you're like, what? Uh oh. <laughs> I knew something was coming, but I couldn't see it. Oh, there's a power up. Are you kidding me? I know what a shotgun can do. Yay! More spins on the box for me. This game hates me. I'm just watching you fight everyone there, by the way. You're doing this good, buddy. Get it done. Help! I'm just spinning the box. <laughs> oh, look, I'm trying to get the rake here, okay? If one of us can get it, we might have a chance. I'm just, I'm I'm just picturing you. When he you. appears for the fifth time. I'm just picturing you with, like, next to the mystery box with elevator music, and it's just me running by, like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is coming up the house. I have, like, no ammo again. I'm on my final shell. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> Wait, what do we use? Explosives. Or combat bow. I have one shot for combat bow. Oh, you do realize I have no fucking equipment. That's oh yeah, you can't grab it again. I, I can't use shit. Imagine how much easier this would have been if you could have used equipment. Could have got to round 34. <laughs> Hang on, we haven't even. Oh, do. I was about to say we haven't died yet, but okay. That's what you really wanted to tempt me on that, didn't you? Mother. Get up! <laughs> Remember how I had armor equipped and then every time I get close to an enemy they just take it? Yeah, I killed a mimic. One down, five million to go. <laughs> how do they make so many? Are they just mimicking each other with a toy? I fuck's sake, I remember that fucking video. Which one? Um, you ever heard of a uh, YouTuber called Kadikarus? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he made a uh, he made a YouTube video uh, talk about uh, the worst levels of uh, Crash Bandicoot. And uh, this one? He, he said, um, "There's a bit where he goes, you can run away from the boulder, but you can't run away from yourself." <laughs> <laughs> it's truly inspirational. Hang on, why is there heavy zombies here now? So we have armored zombies and heavy zombies now. Brilliant. Life is, I blame you. life is fine. <laughs> Everything is coming up the old house. At this point, I don't even want to live. Fuck, I'm going to the box. Okay, we get to. So are you doing the same thing? It's around. Oh, fuck. I think it's around 34. You're doing good, soldier. Keep it up. I don't want it. 
Ed's behind you. Ed's behind you. Behind you, dude. <gasps> Give me that! Oh shit. Oh, no. I'll save you. If it helps, I trap them all against the door. <laughs> oh, I revived you 17 times! <laughs> I'm a good teammate. <laughs> I picked up zero scrap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> look! Now look you got 500, apparently. Look at the eliminations, man. That's terrible. <laughs> look, this is how it always goes. You motherfuckers always weigh me down. Wow, are you serious? Let me look at that. Uh -huh.